Alright, here's another quick and dirty tutorial about how to do horizontal or vertical finish at something other than 90 and 180 degrees. We're going to start by generating some generic geometry and creating a pocket from that. Then we'll go down here and just set a tool width, something to demonstrate the uh, principle. Set a target depth of minus 0 0.001 or whatever, doesn't really matter. And then when it, right here, where we have the rough fill style, we select vertical or horizontal if we wanted to. And we have ordinary looking toolpaths. Now let's clear things up a little bit so we can see just the toolpaths. I'm going to turn the rapids off and the direction arrows off for now. And as you can see, the blue lines are your toolpaths. Now, if we wanted to cut that at an angle in that location, there's a workaround or a trick for doing that. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate the rectangle right where it is. So if I want to do other operations in it there, I can. But for right now, we're going to take this one. And we are going to transform, rotate around the z-axis minus uh, 30 degrees. Apply. Okay, there it is. Control T. Now we can see we have our diagonal uh, toolpaths relative to the outline, but it's in the wrong place. Well, that's really easy to fix. We just come back down here to the machining operation and we transform it back. We're going to rotate it around the z-axis, minus 30 degrees. There we go. Now you have diagonal scanline type pocketing toolpaths. If we wanted to clean this up, do a finish pass of some kind, an inside profile, that's why I copied the geometry in the original location before I moved it. I could do an inside profile or whatever I needed to at this point to finish it up.